Campanodus. They are one of the most beautiful genus of ants you can ever find. There are more than a thousand different species in this genus and can be found on almost every continent on Earth. In this massive collaboration project, Tropical Ants and Ant Co. will guide you through the amazing lives of these beautiful ants, showing you how they hunt, live, and even reproduce. So without any further ado, let's begin. Campanotus is an extremely large and complex globally distributed genus. At present, more than 1000 species and nearly 500 subspecies belonging to 45 subgenera are described and it could well be the largest ant genus of all. They come in all sizes and shapes, ranging from tiny Campanotus and Neopilosus focus to massive Campanotus in Rapidus queens. They range in color from jet black to silver to gold and sometimes even bright orange like the Campanotus consobrinus or blood red like the Campanotus interpretus. Very often, the queens look very different from their worker counterparts, in color and in shape. But one of the most extreme would certainly be the Campanotus aneopilosus. Their queens are small and jet black with a glossy black gaster. Their workers, however, are black but with a bedazzling golden gaster. Found on every continent except Antarctica and Greenland, these are among the most widespread of ants. There can be many species of Campanotus within the same area, but the hot spots for Campanotus are near the tropics, such as Australia, Africa and Southeast Asia. In some places, more than a hundred different species can be found in the same area. Armed with a burning form castle spray and powerful mandibles, these girls are not ones to be messed with. Once they pin their prey down, they start spraying formic acid on them, which literally melts their prey. Once their prey is killed, it is taken to the nest to be devoured. Like all other ants, these ants undergo nuptial flights. Once a year, when the conditions are right, can they send out hundreds or even thousands of winged reproductives, known as elates. They fly out in swarms and mate with other elates from other colonies. After mating, the male elates die, whereas the freshly mated queens drop to the ground, shedding their wings and roaming around to find a suitable place to found a colony. This is the only chance ant keepers get to catch these queen ants and start their own ant colonies. This is also the only time birds and other predators get to snag one of these plump, nutritious queens. Once a queen finds a suitable location, she will dig a small founding cell or claustral cell and seal herself underground, never coming out again. After around two months, her first generation workers or nanotics hatch and come out of the cell to find food for the slowly starving queen. Campanotus ants are really popular among ant keepers. They are very easy to keep, slow growing and display polymorphism i.e. the workers vary in size from small miners to massive super majors, which makes them a very good beginner ant species. But the only drawback with Campanotus ants is that it takes almost 2 to 3 years for a colony to reach an impressive size. This is because Campanotus ants are really huge and it takes almost 2 months for an egg to go through the larval and pupal stage and become an adult ant. This means that it will be almost two months after the queen ant lays her first batch of eggs that you see your first batch of worker ants. But other than the slow growth of the colony, Campanotus ants are truly one of the best ants that you can keep. So that brings an end to our video. Hope you found it helpful and learned something new today. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, it would really mean a lot to us. Thanks for watching this documentary guys, be sure to subscribe to Tropical Ants and Ant Co for useful ant keeping videos and tutorials. Happy ant keeping guys and see you next time.